When you're coaching players, especially young players, I think you want to let them play their own natural game. But there is one element of coaching that you need to instill in a young player. Jordan, pop that red screw back. Just knock it in. Just, uh, just have a whack of it. That's it. Get it in there. OK, and another one. Have another knock. Knock that one in. Screw it back a bit. OK, fantastic. Daniel, do the same. OK. Not bad at all. And another one, just to get the feel of the table. Right, fantastic. Two excellent players who are pretty proficient. OK, both of them have what is considered at top class level, too much head movement. Jordan, a bit more than Daniel but it's still important not to do it. You mustn't move your head. If you move your head, it can cause all sorts of problems with your cue action. If you move your head, your cue can come up, you can miss cue. The tip is, keep your head still before, during, and after the shot, okay? And after the shot means if the ball gets to the pocket, even if it wobbles. So, head still before, during, and after the shot. Okay, try that one, Jordan. Keep that head as still as possible throughout the whole shot. Before, during and after, okay? Keep the head still before, during and after. That's much better, okay? Maybe not used to it yet, but the more you do it, the better it becomes. And I, think, I don't think you'll have too much problems either. Eat on a power shot, Daniel. Try your biggest shot, because I know you can play a bit. Give it your biggest whack and try and keep that head as still as possible. It doesn't have to be touching the cue, just still. That's decent, that's it. And after the shot, keep it down. When you see Sean Murphy play a shot, after he's played it sometimes, he stays down for a full two seconds afterwards to make sure the rest of his body hasn't moved. Congratulations, well done lads, well done.